Hello, Year 8. So today's lesson, this is your goal to end up with a design for the Wiradjuri Garden, uh, for the totem poles that we will be placing in there. So first, before we even begin to uh, make our totems out of clay, um, we need to actually design it for this lesson and next lesson, and we will start the actual clay making next term. Okay, so here is my final design that I've created. Um, so what we know from looking at the criteria is that uh, our dimensions, okay, need to be 18 centimetres in height and 40 centimetres uh, in width, okay? For a nice and easy way to uh, measure this on your page when you rip it or you design this in your book, sorry, you don't have to rip it. Um, nice and easy, just measure three centimetres from this edge backwards, okay? And this gap itself here, that is three centimetres, okay? So that's a nice and easy way to do it. So uh, very important that you're keeping to that dimension. Fabulous. Uh, the next thing that we have a few different ways of, a few different criteria that we need to meet is that um, we need to have a Wiradjuri word, okay? Now, from that video and that list of Wiradjuri words, you would see that um, you've been provided with a list of potential uh, words that you could include, okay? So I chose the word uh, walan, okay? So this word means strong in Wiradjuri. Um, I well, pretty much you have to, um, hopefully, include a word that resembles the spirit of the Wiradjuri garden and the school. So I like to think that, um, that we are strong, okay, and that Wiradjuri garden symbolises strength. So that's why I chose the word awalan, okay? So I've written it there in um, 3D, or in block, sorry, I should say, because that's how I intend to create it on my, um, my totem design. Now, so you need to include a Wiradjuri word um, on your design. So that's the first thing um, you need to be thinking of. Now, another thing you need to include is an animal, okay? As you can see here, I've got a magpie. Um, Magpies frequent the area. I chose to do a magpie. Um, and I also like to, to choose a magpie. That, by the way, the word for magpie is garu. Um, I chose to do a magpie because I identify a little bit with magpie because um, I like shiny things. So that's why I popped it there. Um, and as you can see, it's been designed in, uh, with Wiradjuri type or Aboriginal symbols. So I've got like a boomerang in there. I've got um, circles, which mean, represents people together, etc. So I've got a bird, um, sorry, an Australian animal. Has to be Australian, by the way. So when in doubt, just do a kangaroo um, or a koala or an echidna or a platypus or plenty of different Australian animals. Okay, you can do uh, a serpent or like a snake that is Australian. I know a few people have asked me that, but it has to be... Um, an animal that perhaps is from our area. Um, you need to have an imprinted, uh, or something from nature imprinted. So this could be uh, a eucalyptus leaf, it could be some, um, some uh, bark or gum nuts or something like that. And you also need to include a, um, a symbol, a radgery or a Aboriginal symbol. So I've got human tracks here because the symbol is supposed to represent um, the spirit of the Wiradjuri garden or what could possibly relate to that. So I like to think, you know, we have human tracks around there, like humans frequent that area. This is a, a place of humans. So anyway, um, so as you can see, I have then drawn it up. This is my first draft, okay, or design. I started to draw, sorry about the lighting, I started to draw on a small scale to figure out uh, where I'd place things. I started off with a different word, which means learn, but as you can see, that's a really long word and it kind of just messed up. I didn't quite, couldn't fit it right in. So then I changed um, my word. I was going to do a different symbol. So a little bit of drafting goes a long way. Um, 
and wrote myself some notes up the top there. Then um, once I was happy, I drew it up and started to annotate um, my design, okay, which is what you will have to do as well, okay? So annotations are just little notes with, um, that explain your design, okay, what they represent, what you're trying to do here. But you also need to annotate um, how you will create uh, each of those things made out of clay. Now that you've watched those uh, demonstrations by your teacher, you have a bit of an un understanding or an idea how to manipulate clay into sculptures. Um, so you would have seen your teacher make a coil out of clay. So I intend to make my letters formed using coils of clay. So I've annotated that to, to show that I, that's how I plan to create that word. Okay, human tracks, um, this symbol is going to be carved away using the ribbon tool, okay? So I know future me that, right, that's how I'm going to create that. Um, my eucalyptus leaf is going to be imprinted. That's nice and easy. I'll use the roller or my hands to leave an impression of that eucalyptus leaf. Now, the magpie, I need to annotate, like, it's going to be created from slay, like a slab of clay, and then I will... Um, score, slip, and blend it onto this. This is going to be uh, one big piece of clay, by the way, a slab of clay, and then you'll work into that surface. Okay? So, sorry about the sun. As you can see, as I've been sitting here, it started to set. Um, so that's what you're doing today is carefully, very carefully, um, drawing a design until it is very nice and neat, like so. I would expect people not to rush this, um, and they might do a little bit of drafting first, and they would take their time to add um, Aboriginal symbols carefully into your animal or anywhere else on your design. And you might like to do a little draft first and then redraw it nice and neatly. Um, you can outline it in pen once you're ready. That's fine if you wanted to do that. Or you can leave it in pencil. That's also fine. But um, we need to be not rushing and really having a good think about how we can make uh, our design look the best it can be because this will be in the garden for years to come. So it needs to look, um, looks, needs to look good. Okay, thank you.